did my hair yesterday. It feels so nice. And maybe I am a grandmother right now, but it doesn't mean that I have to feel like a grey little mouse. <laughs> I don't want to feel like a grey little mouse, grey little mouse, grey little mouse. Yeah! I want to make a list. A list of all of the DIY jobs, the little DIY jobs that I still need to do in my living room, in my bedroom, in the baby nursery upstairs. The little jobs are everywhere. I realized a while ago that I turned into that person. Do you know that person? The person that starts all kinds of things, but that never finishes anything. I don't want to be that person. <laughs> right now when I walk into a space, I just see all of the things that I still need to do. I want to get rid of all of these jobs. Last week, I started something over here in my kitchen. I removed hundreds, hundreds of kilos of plaster to expose this beautiful old, a hundred year old brick wall. It's amazing. It is finished right now. I even started painting. It's great. But in the meanwhile, I have this little voice in the back of my head screaming at me. But what about all of the other things? Rogier is supposed to come over here, but he said, I'm going to be a bit late because I need to go to a flea market first. And I said, what? You can't go to a flea market without me. <laughs> but it doesn't make sense for him to pick me up first because it is very close to his home. If he is going to pick me up, he needs to go back and forth all of the time. It's pointless. So I told him, you know, if you see something nice, something that looks retro, just send me a picture <laughs> and he just sent me a picture of this. I don't know if you can see it because there is a strange light in this photo. It's not the best photo. It is a drawing of a vintage, a very vintage looking lady. I absolutely love it. I really want to hang this somewhere over here. Do you know what I could also really use? A stool for this kitchen island. I need something a little bit higher. I want to show you some inspiration. I want to show you a couple of things that I found at flea markets and in thrift stores. I want to hang something on the wall over there. I want to hang the most beautiful, most amazing vintage lamp ever. But first, I need to do this. I think I'm going to be here for a while. Do you guys want to see all of the progress that I made in the last couple of days? I think that's maybe a very smart thing <laughs> to do. Go watch it! plaster that I removed in my last video is just very difficult with this. It takes so much effort. Then I found out that I can actually just sand it off. It's amazing. You also see the pieces of wood, the headers that I used for supporting this window. And I actually really like that. I think it is going to look very rustic and very beautiful with the plaster around it. I was honestly thinking that cleaning up this wall would take me maybe an entire week. But now that I figured out that I can just sand it, I think 
it is only going to take me two days. I also want to know how much plaster is going to take because probably I need to buy myself some more. Which is fine because plaster is very cheap. I'm also very curious. I want to see how it's going to look with a little bit of fine tuning. Over here we have a part of the wall that I still need to clean. And then over here is the part of the wall that I cleaned up today. I don't know. Do you guys see a difference? Also, what I did yesterday. I filled in the gap in between the windowsill and the wall. The windowsill ends over here and everything behind it was just one big, cold, drafty gap. <laughs> but now it's all nicely filled in. What I'm doing over here, I don't know if you can see it, is 
I'm removing all of the plaster from the bricks to turn this into a nice line. Over here you can see that there's a lot of plaster on the bricks. And over here I'm almost finished with removing all of this. I have these pieces of wood that are sticking out. They are not the most beautiful pieces of wood, but I like it anyway. So I decided just to plaster around it. And right now I'm just trying to clean up everything a little bit. Just now I removed a lot of the excess plaster that I put in yesterday from the fronts of the bricks over here above the window. I still have to do it. Over here you can see how big some of the gaps are. I am also going to remove this windowsill because I am going to have built-ins all along this wall, this wall, and then also around the corner. Over there I want to have a little place to sit on top of it. Over here I have my gas meter, so there definitely needs to be something. I also need to make doors in it, over here, probably over there. Over there too, because I really want to use it as storage space. Underneath the window, I'm going to have a little opening at the bottom and slits in the top, because then the heat can still come out. I need this radiator in my kitchen. I don't want to block it completely. And then over here in this corner, I think I want to create a little play corner for Nolan. I can already see it, us sitting at my cute little kitchen island, baking cookies. And then when he gets a little bit bored, he can go over here to play with all kinds of fun little things. Vintage things, of course. <laughs> it is just going to be so much fun. Now the plan is to paint this window in the same blue color as the walls. I want to paint everything blue except for the beautiful wall <laughs> that I just exposed. Of course we are not going to paint over my wall, but everything else is going to be blue. I never painted a space this dark. I also never painted a space that has everything in the same color except for white but that's different white doesn't really count does it <laughs> i don't know if i am going to love it i never painted a space completely dark i have to be honest i did some experiments in my kitchen way way back with painting a dark green wall over there and i did not like it it was so dark that I don't know, I just completely freaked out and I painted everything white. I also tried a very dark color in my bedroom, 
Also did not work out. So me painting all of this in a very dark color of blue, everything, the ceiling, the walls, the windows, the floor, <laughs> is a very big risk that I am taking. I really want to do this. <laughs> I want to create a space that feels like a big, warm hug. Baby stuff is flooding my home. <laughs> they just brought Nolan here again for the third time this week. I'm so lucky. I was not expecting him to be here this often while being this little. And I love it. I love all of this time that I have together with him. I love bonding with him. The only thing that I did today was I painted this wall. I absolutely love, love, love this color. I think it is so beautiful. Oh. I think the most practical thing is just to put the bath over here. Look at him. Hey, he absolutely loves it. Yes, you are not crying at all. You love it. I don't really see the need for soap at all kinds of things. No. Hey. Let's just see how long you are going to be happy in here. Huh? Big success. What do you think? Huh? Hey. You are so nice and clean. It's lovely. Now we made a very big mess. Huh? But it's fine. We don't care. We don't care. No, we don't. Dirty. Dirty. Clean, clean, clean. Now I'm just going to do some household chores because we need to wait for 30 minutes before you can eat. Look at this. It's a little pillow that my mom made for him, for his room, with a sheep on it. I think it is so cute. Tiny little bowl of happiness. <laughs> Do you guys hear that? You are eating and pooping like a construction worker. Do you know that? Yes. bought some things that I need for my lamp. I could not find what I was looking for. So I temporarily bought this. This was the next best thing. So for now, we are just going to hang it. And then I'm going to keep my eyes open for something that looks a little bit more authentic and a little bit more vintage. Rogier actually bought this for me at the flea market that he went to this morning. It's amazing. beads hanging loose over here but I can glue that back besides that it's lovely I love it I also need to adjust some things but we can do that later this is the first time that somebody else is hanging my art 
I love it. There is nothing better than that somebody else is drilling the holes and is hanging the art. It feels very homey. It feels like you live here. What do you think of this? Uh, oh, I need to see it from a little bit of a bigger distance. Distance is key when you are hanging things on your wall. Go a little bit more to the left. A tiny bit because I want the gaps in between the paintings kind of the same. A little bit more to the right, tiny bit. Okay, yeah, yeah. that's it. Random children that I found at the flea market. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah? I really love the bricks. Yeah, me too. I also love the contrast of the paintings on a very dark blue wall. Maybe I'm going to collect some more art. Who knows? But this is already really, really nice. This one, I don't know yet. I don't know. I have to figure it out. I will find a place for it.